So welcome back to another episode of Mandy and Carlton and the ICF New Build. Now, down in uh, Devon, the build is really cracking on. So let's go over to Mandy and see what's been happening recently. end of another week and the weather here is absolutely brass monkeys it's blowing a hooli and it's really cold compared to last weekend so everybody's pulled out their jackets and thermals and everything else um carl's got his guys on site this morning that's martin and aiden and they're doing some work on the flat roof of the office um yeah good health and safety there carl um, <laughs> yeah, I caught you on camera. Um, they've got to do some finishing off around the edges of the flat roof there before the EPDM can be finally fixed down. So that's what they're doing. But the big news this week is what's been going on inside because we had the carpenters start on Monday and they've started putting up the stud walls upstairs inside that big wall there is the dividing wall between the living room and what will be the utility room behind that's where the stairs will be going and that was all open this time last week and then on this side this is where our kitchen will be and there's a little nib nib wall there which is the purpose of that is for the mvhr duct to run up because obviously with the vaulted ceiling we can't have runs in the ceiling so we've got to put it up through the floor and this bit of stud work is um, part of the kitchen and there'll be kitchen units and my nice new big fridge freezer in there which I've been promising myself for the past five years and then if I take you in round this side when the camera adjusts to the fact that it's pitch black in there you should be able to see that is um, the, what will be the uti utility room and at the far end there'll be a toilet so they've been doing all that they've also done a load of work downstairs which was making good really ready for them to start boarding walls down there and um, getting all that teed up the bane of my life this week has been um, door linings which I've had to find for all the internal doors and because they're, they're not standard sizes because uh, if I show you on the plan here this wall here these are the details from the architect about the different internal timber stud walls downstairs and upstairs and um, they are patrissed so that means basically they have got um, one, one layer of um, OSB or ply and on top of that then there's plasterboard um, which makes them thicker walls than normal obviously all of this is the insulation that you put in in between the in, in the actual stud walls but when it comes to getting door linings it's a bit of a pain because you have to get door linings that aren't an off-the-shelf size they're actually 28 millimeters thick and 138 mil wide and those have got to be the finished sizes so um, the likes of Jusons, Travis, Howden's you name it they don't make them so finally I've, I've got hold of a joinery in South Wales and they are making them for us so they're making 28 mil by 138 mil door linings that are trenched ready to be fitted um, obviously come with that comes the fact that they're not going to be an off-the-shelf price either so they've turned out to be nearly 30 pounds a piece as opposed to 12 pounds a piece if they were from Cowden's um, the MVHR has arrived on site ready for Monday when we are having an installer in to fit it all and there is going to be absolutely tons of it to go in lots of ducting and stuff and um, there'll be 
ducting coming up through the floor and then a couple of um, MV MVHR extract vents up here and also fresh air vents coming in too. A lot of the things um, are happening out of sequence because we're still having trouble with um, various materials. Um, the windows though are due to be on site um, on Thursday next week so that's a day earlier than we were expecting them. So that's good news. Um, and I've been sourcing things like shower trays ready for the plumber. Um, on Tuesday next week we're having some of the first fix electrics done and then the following week um, Dan is coming in the plumber and he's gonna put down the underfloor heating so next weekend we're gonna have a busy weekend putting down insulation in the floors downstairs so that they're ready on Monday for Dan to come in put the underfloor heating down and then on Wednesday the floors will be screeded downstairs which means everybody's got to stay off them for a few days whilst they go off um, so it'll be really nice to get some windows in next week unfortunately we won't have these big patio doors in then but we will have some windows in and it'll make it a lot lighter because we can get rid of that horrible black plastic in the windows but it served a purpose up until now because it's kept most of the rain out um, I think that's about all at the moment. Hopefully next week things will continue to improve with people coming back off furlough and you know being able to get um, you know the companies that are sort of working at 50% speed at the moment will be able to get a bit back more back to normal. And um, I hope everyone's staying safe and well. And I'll make another video next week. Well, it's a rainy Saturday afternoon, the end of another week, and we have had such a busy week on site, I don't know quite where to start. Um, maybe in the downstairs utility. There, that thing that looks like a massive octopus with a load of tentacles is the MVHR ducting. Um, Monday, it was a really long day. We finished about half seven Monday evening, and... Um, all of the MVHR ducts went in. You can see that huge one there that goes up through the ceiling and into the upstairs utility room. Um, then after that the electricians came in on Tuesday and they started doing all the first fix wiring. We had to get the MVHR ducts in first. You can see that they're absolutely massive so they had to take pride of place and then everybody else work around them with their pipes and cables so here's all some of well, a load of the uh, first fix wiring but the big change the really big lovely change is the fact that we have windows in um, they arrived on which day was it Ooh, Thursday I think and um, Phil and Paul have been madly fitting them ever since so we've got a whole load of windows and doors in. I'll take you through and show you the back. So we've got the French doors in, there, bedroom. And today, this morning, we started with the insulation in the floor. And this is 130 mil Rectocell insulation. That's gone on top of a DPM which is a damp proof membrane another one so that will be the second membrane that we've got because we underneath the slab we had a radon combined damp proof membrane and then the concrete slab went down and now we've got this this second membrane and the rectocell urethane on top of it then on we'll be finishing this up tomorrow um, because on Monday Dan the plumber is coming in and he's going to put the underfloor heating down. So this is the bathroom, you can see the pipe sticking up through the insulation. Um, so yeah, it's been an absolutely massive week. I won't try and show you upstairs, 
but there's been loads going on up there as well with more windows and things being fitted so that's where we're up to at the end of this week and as I say next week it will be first fix plumbing starting and a continuation of the first fix electrics and the rest of the windows going in so then we'll just have the big doors patio doors upstairs to go in which aren't due till the end of July and the front door which is still a few weeks off that's the last bit of insulation going in the floor you see this fantastic technique it's not coming out <laughs> You stand on it and you jump up and down. No, it's not coming out for sure. And it's in place. <laughs> Yay! It's done. Last piece of the puzzle. So. The end. Next job. Clear up. So, that's it for the end of this week. And I hope you're all staying safe and well. And I'll make another video next week. It's the end of another week and what we're looking at here is the outer edge of the balcony which the guys plasticed up last week and that's our little back door there where we get out onto the scaffolding. Um, they've closed that in to keep it weather tight and a bit uh, less drafty in here. Um, that's the balcony there and this is where we'll be getting the big patio doors in when they arrive. Last week the electricians were back and they did some more first fix electrics so you can see the wires poking out there for some of our wall lights and on Thursday and Friday Phil and Paul closed in this timber frame wall at the back of the house and that's now full of rock wool insulation and VCL which is a vapour control layer which is a foil that you can see there and then board on top of that um, then behind what will be our gas fire which will be going on that wall there we'll be having um, fire line plasterboard and normal plasterboard on the other walls also up here they started on Friday to do the insulation in the ceilings that's the 40mm rectocell that you can see there and that's the second layer of insulation that's going in the ceilings. I can show you in the utility room where they've started um, to put the insulation in the ceilings. It's up there next to that great big MVHR pipe. So that's the first layer and then there'll be another layer of 40mm rectocell to go on top of that. This is the other big change since last week. We have underfloor heating in. Dan the plumber came in on Monday and they put all the pipes in for the underfloor heating and those are the manifolds that you can see there. They'll be under the stairs. It's a new heat wet underfloor heating system. Um, and then on Wednesday morning we had Nick and Reese in from NMA Flooring and they put all the screed floors down so that's still going off at the moment it's it's a fast drying screed it will be dry and ready to put carpets and flooring down in 21 days and um, that's why you can see this sort of um, obstacle course come challenge to walk across the floors to get doors and windows open so we're not walking directly on the screed um, it's been a really wet week so it's been quite muggy and humid inside with the floors going off but today it's lovely and sunny and warm got all the windows and doors open and um, all the windows and doors in as well because I think last weekend they hadn't quite finished Phil and Paul were still putting windows and doors in so they're all open now letting some fresh air circulate inside so that the floors can go off and these will be ready for the guys to work off again on Monday. So on Monday, Dan the plumber will be back in and he'll be continuing with first fix plumbing in the bathrooms and the kitchen. And um, these floors will be nice and solid and absolutely fine for him to work off. 
So that's the downstairs. Um, we've got another busy week next week, as I say. Um, and I hope you're all staying safe and well. And I will make another video next week. It's Sunday the 28th of June and the end of another busy week on site. Um, I'm going to take you for a quick walk through now that the screed floors have gone off. They're absolutely solid as a rock and we've had plumbers and electricians on site again this week. Mainly the plumbers doing first fix plumbing after they put the underfloor heating in before the screed went down. Now they've been back on site starting to first fix the bathrooms. So we have got lots of pipe work and the beginnings of the showers in the three bathrooms going in. Um, so they've had a really busy week and we've been getting everything ready for the toilets and basins and all of that sort of stuff to go in. Um, there have been a huge number of decisions to make this week all the sorts of things that will have a knock-on effect further down the track so for example stuff like deciding what um, height skirtings we're going to have so that the guys knew where to put the towel radiators how high up to put them and how high to put the controls for them and um, also the width of the architraves so they knew where the electricians knew where they should be put in their light switches um, then we had to get a bath in um, that's the bath that we're having so I knew what size it was going to be but we got it on site anyway so that the guys can then start putting in the boxing around it and also um, along this stud sort of studding it out a bit more so that there's space um, and, and fixings for vanity units that basins will go on and taps and things like that. So that was a quick dash round to get a bath on site. And also we got the toilets in so that they know exactly what size they are and how they're gonna work in the different bathrooms. Um, and so there were quite a few discussions during the week about what was going where and how it was all going to work. Um, but I think that's all going to work out okay. Um, early last week also we got measurements for the staircase and ordered the staircase which is um, normally they're a 10 day turnaround these guys with the staircase but because of coronavirus their lead time for staircases is three to four weeks so um, we can still we we're still using the ladder to get up and down stairs which is a bit of a pain otherwise it's a long trek around the scaffolding um, but that's on order now anyway and hopefully it'll be a little bit less than three to four weeks but we'll have to see um, I spoke to the company who are making the big patio doors upstairs as well a Lumitech in Barnstable and um, they were hoping to, or they are hoping to have the doors ready to install on the 29th of July. And I had a quick chat with them on Friday just to see where they are with that, with the manufacturer of them. And now apparently there are shortages, well not shortages, but delays with the glass because, um, well I'm not quite sure what, what, what the cause of that is, probably because places are still working at 50% capacity with, with half of their staff furloughed still um, but they're hoping that the bottleneck that there is at the moment will be cleared by the time we go to get ours um, and that won't impact our fitting date of the 29th of July because everything upstairs well everything um, plasterboard wise is sort of hanging on those doors going in because that's the final bit that will make us watertight so hopefully there won't be any delay with that, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, the kitchen, I'm very glad that we had the kitchen designed back in December, well ahead of schedule, because that's been a huge help because we've had exact dimensions to work to. So the guys upstairs where they've been 
building stud walls have known exactly where the kitchen's going, all the dimensions of it. And Joe from Home Sweet Home in Barnstable has been brilliant. He's been talking to the carpenters, answering all their questions about the kitchen and, and everything that's going on up there. And next week, the front door, which will go there, is going into manufacture. So that's being made by Camel Glass in Wadebridge. Um, and I'm not going to say too much about that because that'll be a nice surprise when it arrives on site. I'm really looking forward to seeing it. But that will be a few weeks off yet anyway. But at least we know that they're starting to make it on Monday. So we're on schedule with that. And um, yeah, really looking forward to seeing it. So I think that's about it for this week. Um, next week, uh, Paul and Phil, the carpenters, are back on site. And I think they're going to be doing insulation in the vaulted ceilings up there. So they're going to have a busy week. And hopefully it won't be as hot as it was this week because it was mid-30s outside. And I can assure you it was a lot warmer up there. So they're going to be hoping for a cool week because they don't want to be sweltering up there if it's in the 30s. Anyway, that's all for this week. <laughs>